This is the easiest type notch for me. Um, just basically, I set it back in an inch and a half. I spaced it an inch and a half. And then I cut it. Um, and then basically it just slides right up in there. I couldn't really notch out for the curvature of the log and basically set it back in there. Because I have both ends that have to go in. It wasn't like the handrail on the end going down the steps. So that was the easiest cut right there to make. Probably what I'll do is I'll come back and kind of uh, taper these corners right here. Um, but yeah, this gives me the ability now to screw into that on each end. It's set back in a half an inch, and it's a half an inch in depth. And so that will get, that will make it really sturdy when I get the post in there and get all of that screwed in there. But this handrail will match the handrail going down the steps. Um, because I did it with cedar, I decided to go ahead and stay with cedar. Anyway, I think it's looking good.
I'm actually just about to finish my closet. That it was the only thing left. And then this flooring would be done. And I kept putting it off. But Jennifer called this morning and said, hey, let's finish the flooring. I'm like, okay. She had to run an errand, but she'll be right back. stick a fork in this flooring and call it done. Yeah, she got back in time for the last piece. I helped him lay it all in the closet, but two rows. Um, but grand total of flooring put down, 48 and a half boxes. Um, I do have a question. What do you call two banana pills laying on the floor? That's not what you call them. You call them slippers. Slippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. One thing is for sure, I am so glad the flooring is done. Aren't you? <laughs> I'm beyond glad that the floor is done. And it looks good. And of I course, would... now you still have to put baseboard down. He does. Um, I would tell you all um, that... I'd have Landon say hi, but you can't see him right now, so. Yeah, he's in his camouflage that he got for Christmas. So. Yeah. Unless he moves, you can't see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, I'm she, glad for a snow day. Yeah, she's got to go, but um, I've got some other projects that I'm going to work on, so. Well, we're going to get her stuff together and see her off, and then I will meet you on the next project. See you soon.
notching out this next section of front porch handrail. It's measuring these things out. Um, I put one line up above, so I've got a saw mark there that I've got to fix. Uh, Just a little bit on the brisk side out here this morning, but this is actually good weather to be doing this because the saw keeps you going and so does whittling out or chiseling out these areas right here. Well, as you can see, this one is curved, but we don't want to keep uniformity on the porch since we used crooked post. So we're going to make ourselves a crooked handle.
I got to hankering. How long has it been since you heard that word? A cup of coffee. So I thought I would stop, take a little break, and make me some. Well, it's good to the last drop, but it's not Maxwell House. Mm. Well, that porch handrail, um, I've got enough cedar posts to make it straight. That one center post is kind of curved back, so I thought I would go ahead. I've got two that are kind of a little bit on the snaky side, so I thought I would try to cut those in half and see if I could get them formed in there. Now, once I get them in, if they don't work, I can always take them back out and use those other cedar posts that I've got. But um, I think that they're going to work out and it will kind of go along with all of the crookedness that I've tried to maintain that look. Um, not anything too uniform. So um, I'm going to drink some more of this coffee and I'll run back out there, get that other one, uh, get the bark shaved off of it, set it up there and we'll see what it looks like.
Well guys, I certainly hope that you enjoyed watching that video. You know, there is more that goes into some of a project like this than you would actually think. Um, picking it out, measuring it, looking at it, making sure it's going to work, um, debarking it, putting it on the sawmill, making these cuts, measuring it again, making these cuts, adjusting it, then doing the same thing on the bottom side so that they both match, and then cutting these posts out. But uh, no, I think that that's really going to look good when I get it done because I do have another curved piece that's going to go right here and then I'll go straight again between those next two posts and uh, still got the end to do and I'm, I may put up just a small rail down here with like a swinging gate. Uh, not really sure yet. Of course, they both would be able to open in case I need to get something big up here. Um, but I'm kind of leaning uh, along that direction that way. Maybe if I have to close the dogs in the pen uh, or inside the porch area uh, at some point, you know, I can do that. Anyway, guys, I certainly hope that, uh, like I said, you enjoyed that video. My son, my daughter, and I, we really do appreciate you stopping by up here at the cabin while we're trying to tie up all the loose ends from uh, getting the inside finished uh, to the outside, you know, basically front porch. I do have a back porch that I'm going to build, but uh, that will be later on. So, anyway, we hope that each and every one of you have a great afternoon, guys. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time. Thank you.